Time is running out for Nancy to turn their season around as they remain rooted to the bottom of Liga with only five points from 11 games. They welcome Rennes to start Marcel Picot on Friday for the opening game of day 12. Jan and Villa, who was handed a two-year international ban this week, returned to Frederic Antonetti's starting lineup as Rennes looked to continue a good run of recent form. With four wins in their last five outings, their dismal start to the season seems a distant memory. These two teams met in the League Cup back in September, with Rennes claiming a 3-2 victory. Mevla Turding, who scored twice that day, was on target again in the 21st minute after a fine ball in from Chris Mavinga on the left. Mavinga, also banned by the Federation this week for his part in the under-21's notorious Parisian Sejourn, going some way to making up for it with this fine cross. Erding heading home his sixth league goal of the season. 1-0 to the visitors at the break. Nancy's reaction came five minutes after half-time. Yuan Malo slipped forward to Simon Zenke, who turned inside Kevin Theopil Catherine and rocketed past Benoit Costil to make it 1-0. A fine strike from the Nigerian for his first league on goal of the season. Into the 74th minute and a long free kick forward from Ren. And Villa and Erding flicking the ball on. And how about this for a finish from Roma Alessandrini? A stunning strike from a former Clermont man, his third of the season, leaving Guy Roland and Di Assembe no chance. With 10 minutes of normal time remaining and another defeat on the cards, Nancy were handed a lifeline. When Zenke was rather crudely brought down by John Boy, referee Michael Lesage had no hesitation in pointing to the spot. Paul Alou Efalu stepped up to convert and saw his effort punched clear by Benoit Costil to the evident dismay of the home supporters. And Nancy were made to pay for it a few minutes later when Masadio Hedera attempted to head Costil's clearance back to his goalkeeper. Jonathan Pitwapa got ahead of Andre Luiz and Ndia Sembe and was left to head into an empty net. Poor defending from Nancy, allowing Pitwapa to claim his fourth of the season and seal a 3-1 victory for Rennes. Tough times ahead for John Fernandez then, while Rennes climbed to fifth on Friday.